I already mentioned it, but I just really want to mention it again. Uh, the four C's of cr the Common Core. Creativity, critical thinking, communicate, and collaborate. So these are the things we want to always be every day asking ourselves, how can I include these into my lesson plans? And really, you should strive to have all four every day. It may, probably won't be 100% every single day, but that should be your goal is to strive for that. So communicate. that you It's not just talking amongst each other. It's that you can clearly communicate your ideas. So that can be in a variety of ways. It's, they make a poster um, they, the, um, in an essay. Uh, making a video, drawing out a cartoon, whatever it is, it's the it's they have an idea, they have a piece of knowledge, and they can somehow communicate that clearly. And it could be in front of the class as a speech, or and again, it could just be writing an essay. So communicate, collaborate. That's a big deal, a really big deal. As much as you know, people don't like group work. Uh, the world is really collaborative. I know anything that I do, I always try and collaborate, as is evidenced by this particular class. Um, I am the instructor of record for a few of the sections of CI 149, and Dr. Nelson is the instructor of record for some other sections, but we choose to teach it together and to collaborate, and we feel like together we are better than apart. Now, obviously, we have to both make a, some compromises on things that we would individually do, but we feel it's important to collaborate and to model collaboration. So that's something that you're going to be doing in this class is doing some group work, whether or not you're excited about it. Um, we actually had an overwhelming amount of people just at the end of the semester say that's what they got the most out of the class was working together um, on the collaborative lesson plan project. But you are going to have to have your students do that. So we're going to have you working together Okay, you're going to be frustrated. That's the way group work goes. No, we know that. But we want you to start processing to yourself, how are you going to facilitate that for a K-12 student? You guys are adult learners. You can work some things out. That's not necessarily always possible um, with high school students, uh, middle school especially. So you need a kind of a plan of how to structure it and teach them how to, to do some of the group work things and kind of realize some of the realities of it. Regardless, um, that even if it's not a 50-50, which group work almost never is, there's still something everybody gets out of hearing the ideas and feedback of others. So you are going to have to do collaboration in your classrooms, so we're going to do it in this classroom. Um, critically thinking, so that's not just straight up memorizing facts and regurgitate them, but being able to explain yourself. Uh, how did you get it? Why do you think that is? You know, the scientific process, but we're going to apply it to everything. Uh, so PE teachers, pay attention. How are you going to have students demonstrate critical thinking in your PE course? Um, and the last one is creativity. So they're not just writing an essay and then they'll write another essay and then follow up with an essay. It's, it's how do you bring in some create, creative elements, you know, art, and, and try not, it shouldn't be just superficial. We shouldn't be doing a poster for the sake of doing a poster. Uh, you know, why is that choice better? How does this help students to more clearly communicate their ideas, to spark their interest, you know, mixing it up, um, but have it coming up with a creative solution. It doesn't necessarily have to be art when you talk about creativity. Uh, creative writing, obviously, uh, would be a good example. But those four C's, uh, communicate, collaborate, critical thinking, and communication, those are things that you want to be always including in all of your lesson plans and things that you're doing in your everyday classroom.